Hi, Leo. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you being patient with me. Um, I really did intend to finish all of the signs yesterday. I actually tried to start them the night before. That just did not happen. But I did not go on a canoe slash kayak trip with my sister yesterday to do the videos. And I really, really wanted to get them done by the end. My sister, who is a Leo, came over and you guys are like my pride. <laughs> she just made herself comfortable with her wiener dog in my bed and they fell asleep. And I did a few more videos and then I got comfortable and I fell asleep. So thank you for joining me. Um, this is a reading for the beginning week of May, so May 3rd, 2nd on, time is relative, Leo, sun, moon, rising, if you're into a Leo, whatever filter it is, it's information for us all to know, this is to help you tune into your own psychic, spiritual, meter, dial, radio, tuner, antennas, to a station that grooves your beat, gives you more clarity, not so much static, so that you can get some direction on which way to go, maybe which wave to dive on or ignore. The energy's there, whatever you do with it. So, you know, there's a lot of you out there and only one of me. So I'm going to do my best here, but see what resonates with you. Interpret it for yourself, how it works in your life and your situation and your question and what you're praying and inquiring about. This is for the highest, greatest good of all of us, Leo. So we're all uplifted in love. From the most highest divine source of God, love, light, whatever you believe, whatever makes you more conscious and beautiful and brings you forth on your journey in love. All right, Leo, what do we have for Leo? May 3rd, week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, on. Leo, sun, moon, rising, highest, greatest, good of everyone. I wish. Leo, I wish I could tell you the name of this deck. I am going to have to do some research on it. That's what it looks like. And it uh, was independently published. I have no idea the name of it. But I really like this deck, so I'm going to use it for you. It's like the mystery deck for you guys. You like the mystery. Leo. Highest, greatest good of everybody. Leo. Let's do three cards. bottom you have the nine of cups. Leo, what is your wish? Close your eyes. Pretend it's your birthday. Right before you blow out the candles, Leo, what is your wish? This is your wish coming true. This is what you wish. This is the wish in your heart. Do you know what your wish is? You know, if it's your birthday right now and you have to think about it, think about it. Give yourself the opportunity to give yourself a good wish. I'm sure you have one, though. This is your wish coming true. If you are an old man with a big beard and you want the hot young girl here, that's your wish. It's that awesome that it can come true now. You know, it's, it's that genie in a bottle coming out for you. Now there's two sides to the genie in the bottle, Leo. Make sure you know what you want. Make sure when you ask for your wish, you don't put too specific demands on it, Leo. You want to make sure you leave a nice open-ended wish. Like, think about one of those wishes like, okay, I'm going to wish for three more wishes. And then at the end, you have three more wishes. Think beyond the one wish. Think bigger than your wish even is because bigger than your wish, Leo, can happen, can come true, is here. It's available for you, Leo. So think about it. Give it some effort. If you have somebody specific, right? Now, this is a wish for you, what you can control, what you can uh, manifest, okay? What you can help create and the universe is there helping you to help each other in the situation. So this wish, right, the bigger it is, 
the more love you want to put into it and the more open-ended you want to give that love out to everybody, including yourself. Open wish. So if you like a specific person, for instance, you can only control how you feel. In the end, you know, the universe and God has a factor, you have a factor, and each other person has their own. Um, so you can say, I really like these qualities in that person. They make me feel like, like I want to fly a little and excited and I like that. But even if that person is choosing to not make that same wish, you can still have that wish. Just be virtuous about how you ask. So don't put intention, intention or intent into something specific, you know. When there's something maybe waiting out there that is exactly perfect where you didn't know to place your intention. So leave it open-ended a little. So that if that is meant to go where it's supposed to, it can. But if there's something better, always leave that but. But if there's something better for me, I'm willing for that too. Bring me the better if I'm meant to have better. So set your sights as high, Leo, as you can have. And then leave that ceiling open-ended to be able to jump out into even more because your wish can be that big. So don't put a ceiling on your wish, right? Don't block it into something. Don't put it in a box. Don't put your wish in a little box for you to open. You leave your lid open, all right? I didn't even look at your cards, Leo. Oh, Leo. Leo. Oh. All right, well, I didn't even look at the other ones. Leo! Leo! <laughs> I love you, Leo! I'm so happy for you. I want to go hug my sister. I have a Leo moon. Maybe this is like some emotional happiness, too. Look at you. All right, so this is your wish, Leo. Is your wish this? Is that your wish? Look at this beautiful family. You know, there's this guy, and they're all in this beautiful home. She's just resting her head on his shoulder, holding her heart, just feeling the love beating out of her heart at the situation in this moment that they have. Then you have, like, the little baby here and the little newborn next to them, and they're all cuddling each other, and everyone's happy, and it's that perfect happy family moment, right? This is your wish. This can come true for you, Leo. This perfect family, happily ever after. You have the chariot and you have temperance. So let's look at these two. Let's still look at this. So, Ten of Cups, you move from the nine to the ten of cups. That's your wish and then stepping into that life if that's what you want this could be your wish of something else whatever it is leo is emotional you could already be married for 50 years leo and then you still have this wish to have something new to take a vacation to have something different something happen together whether this person doesn't isn't in your life yet or is in your life this is Embracing this moment that you always wanted and realizing it's now. Or this now can happen for you. This. This happy, t this happy, happily ever after, af oh, I, can, I can't talk. This happily ever after card is not every day. There's always another chapter. They go to bed, they go wake up and he has to go to work and then she woke up late, didn't have breakfast, right? Like, this isn't every night. A real family has real situations. They have real communication. They they go through things and they learn and they choose to uh, grow together. However their paths may go. However these children decide to grow up with their particular personalities and their individual expression of them and likes and dislikes and experiences and trials and tribulations and as well as this couple so this is the moment you want but this is this is a real family that took a, a day by day approach to get here 
this didn't just, this wasn't the wish. And you open up your storybook and you get to your happy, happy, I want to say happy tale ending, happy fairy tale ending. You know, you, there's a bunch of chapters to get there. So have your chapter started? What chapter are you on, Leo? Because this is telling you, if you want this wish to come true, to start, to be in your reality, to be real, to be here, to bring you to this, you have to accept everything that comes along with this, the good, the bad, the beautiful, you know? Everything makes this happen and makes this a part of your every day. It's choosing to have this beauty and this consciousness of the moment, this love of the moment that you have now, Leo. Choosing to have this now, this is temperance and the chariot. This is telling you if you want this, Leo, you have to take the reins or this wish. If this is not you and you are a Leo that is uh, the aggressor type Leo and you feel like you have taken the reins in this situation and maybe you're the only ones who only one who had the reins then this is your wish of the other person or the other party in the situation then taking equal reins maybe they have one you have one and you're working together now or you each have your own chariot of equal power and strength that don't need to work you know, against one another, but work with each other to create this force field of you together, of your own power. So maybe this is both of you being able to take the reins on your chariot and go, you know, to have the strength you have to work for this, if that's what you both want, then you need to do it now. If this is not in your life yet, Leo, and it is coming, then just know that this is the chariot and this is victory and this is your wish and this is your happy ending and this is telling you the timing is just right for it to happen, for it to begin, for it to start, for you to take the reins to have this every day, every moment, every chance you get, every person you meet to show that love and that, that abundant joy of who you are is going to bring you your wish. So temperance, there's this guy, I feel like, all right, look at this scene. This ant. It's like this soldier guy and he went to this herb woman. So maybe he needed to make a potion for a love spell or maybe he wanted to make something to make him stronger for the uh, team that he is on. Some, like, something to make him have more, you know, something. He wanted something. Maybe he he has something wrong with him and he wanted a medicine or a tincture. Maybe he has bad breath and he wanted some nice minty thing. He went to this woman who has knowledge that he does not. He's probably the physical and she's probably the spiritual. It's like he's the protector. He's a warrior and she's in red and covered in... She's wisdom and knowledge and the hidden and the unknown and the, the, uh, the healing and the mystery and the creation and that receptive force. She's giving him something, but she is uh, pouring it into a, something. She's also a feminine energy. He needs something as a feminine energy, but he's, he's usually a warrior he pushes and they found this balance between the two they each have something to offer and they each have something to give each other and together they have a perfect temperature so with this chariot if you go leo and you feel like it's full force ready to go that's your temperature you want the hot bowl go if you feel like your situation is a little cold like the porridge is too cold then just you got the control. Take your chariot and hold it. And if it's just right, go. Go towards your happy ending, Leo. I love you. I'm excited to see what's going to happen this week. Blessings.